Each of us is unique. As such, the way we respond to therapy varies. Biomarkers may help identify patients who are most likely to benefit from a particular treatment. Bristol-Myers Squibb is leading research to better understand the interplay between cancer and the immune system. Several biomarkers are under investigation for their potential to predict response to immunotherapy. An example is tumor antigens, which are proteins produced by the tumor and facilitate an anti-tumor immune response. Since the measurement of neoantigens can be challenging, surrogate markers such as tumor mutation burden, TMB, or microsatellite instability, MSI, are used to evaluate the neoantigen load. Inflamed tumors show evidence of inflammation, immune cell infiltration, and immune activation. As such, evidence of inflammation may potentially serve as a predictive biomarker for immunotherapy. The most widely researched of these is Program Death Ligand 1, or PDL1. PDL1 binds to the PD1 receptor on T cells, inhibiting T cell activation. Inflamed tumor markers under investigation include Program Death Ligand 2, or PDL2, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, or TILs, and inflammation gene signatures. Biomarkers of immune suppression dampen the immune response. Examples under investigation include regulatory T cells, or Tregs, myeloid-derived suppressor cells, and immune checkpoint receptors, such as lymphocyte activation gene 3, or LAG3, which can suppress T cell activity and promote T cell exhaustion. Biomarkers of the host environment are distinct to the individual that may influence cancer initiation, progression, or response to treatment. These include germline mutations and the microbiome. Research is ongoing to determine if multiple biomarkers in combination may better predict response to I.O. therapy. Bristol-Myers Squibb is committed to enhancing our understanding of biomarkers in immuno-oncology to help transform patient outcomes.